Well, good morning, you guys. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, like Pastor Matt said, my name is Michelle, and I work for Dove Medical as a stop and think facilitator, which means I get to go into middle schools and high schools and youth groups and start conversations about how to make healthy decisions. I am also the outreach assistant at Dove Medical. As we have not yet had the opportunity to visit your church until today, we are so excited to be here. Um, and I just want to extend a huge thank you to all of you and to your pastor for having us today. And Pastor Matt already answered one of the questions I was going to ask, which would be, why am I here? Uh, what is today about? Um, and so to give you a little bit more history about Sanctity of Human Life Sunday, on January 16th, 1984, P President Ronald Reagan issued a presidential proclamation designating Sunday, January 22nd, 1984, as a National Sanctity of Human Life Day, noting that it was the 11th anniversary of Roe v. Wade, in which the Supreme Court issued a ruling that guaranteed women access to abortion. Now, to give you a little bit of background on Dove Medical, uh, we are a faith-based, patient-centered organization that encourages informed decision-making about unintended pregnancy. We are a 501c3 nonprofit, meaning we get zero government funding. We are fully funded by donors. And as an organization, we've been around for nearly 38 years. We've been at our current location on East 11th for, um, or since July of 2013. We're just three blocks from the University of Oregon and Bushnell University uh, campuses, and we serve a lot of college students. And I would love to tell you just how we serve these college students as well as our other patients. I want to start by telling you a true story about one of our patients. Now, Rebecca tragically joined an abusive cult while attending college. For years, she suffered terrible abuse in that cult. She said, essentially, I was indoctrinated into a very small abusive cult that poisoned me physically and poisoned me mentally for nine years. Following her father's passing in January, Rebecca left the abusive cult in April and later relocated to Oregon in August. After a brief visit from her out-of-state boyfriend, Rebecca feared that she was pregnant. At the advice of her mother, she attempted to go to the Glenwood Planned Parenthood Center late in October. I drove there and they were closed for no apparent reason, said Rebecca. I took it as a sign from God that I didn't need to be going to Planned Parenthood. Rebecca googled pregnancy centers in Oregon and Dove Medical was second on the list. I told them that I needed to know as soon as possible because I was completely freaking out, Rebecca said, and that I'd have to go to the urgent care, but I didn't have any money. Although the schedule was full, staff was able to squeeze Rebecca in for an appointment. I tested positive, she said. Rachel was extremely helpful and super kind. She prayed with me. Rachel is our, one of our advocates. Rebecca wasn't far enough along to receive an ultrasound at her first visit. However, when her housing circumstance went awry, Rebecca turned to Dove Medical again. I came in and hadn't eaten, and you fed me. You helped me figure out my housing situation. I drove home that day, and I cried because I was happy. I was at peace. The support didn't end there. Dove Medical staff continued to pour out Christ's love on Rebecca. The love in the center, she said, just made me realize that God loves me no matter what. You guys brought me back to him. Now there are two new loves in her life. Rebecca is due to give birth to her twin babies in July. This experience has changed my life, said Rebecca. I will never be the same. I would never have been able to handle this pregnancy on my own without this level of help. Rebe Rebecca respectfully requests your prayers as she joyfully anticipates joining the ranks of motherhood. So that's one story, and there are many like it. Uh, but when it comes to the types of support that we offer to our patients, the following is a, a list of services that we provide. And if you want more information on any of these, uh, feel free to come take a tour um, or ask me more information afterward. All of these services are free and confidential. When a patient comes to Dove Medical, they sit down for a medical intake with a nurse who can get a holistic view of their health, as well as have a conversation with an advocate to assess their needs and walk through the decision-making process with them. Then if they have additional questions, the advocate helps them answer those questions and get the help that they need. Or if they have additional health needs, we're able to schedule more appointments for them to further assess their needs and treat those needs. Of course, we offer pregnancy testing. Uh, we also offer decision coaching using the Ottawa Decision Guide. 
Uh, this guide goes over the influences in their lives and the support that they have or maybe don't have. It goes over their values um, and it helps them to consider various aspects of their life and helps them come to an informed decision once they've thought through these different factors. We also have STI testing and treatment. This is something that we have been able to do uh, just recently in the last year or so uh, with our family nurse practitioner. We are qualified under her license to uh, write prescriptions and administer treatment at the clinic, which is really exciting. Now we also have a boutique that is full of, it's a resource room with full of maternity clothes and other maternity supplies, baby clothes, diapers, and other supplies that we provide for our patients throughout the course of their pregnancy and up to the first year or so of the baby's life. Now we also have what is called CareNet Moms. This is our prenatal class for our patients. This is a six week course where they receive um, help with understanding prenatal nutrition, labor and delivery, and how to care for their baby, and different things to expect along with that. And if they take all six classes, they receive a free infant car seat at the completion of the uh, of the course. Now Stop and Think is our student program. This is kind of my bread and butter. Like I said, I am a Stop and Think facilitator. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I work with teenagers and teachers. And what Stop and Think is, is a sexual risk avoidance program, which um, in this program, we help students walk through three different decision-making skills that can help them examine their influences, figure out who has their best interest in mind, and consider their personal goals and values and how that might help them make decisions that are in line with those goals and values, and determine pros and cons. And we talk about the importance of weighing the risks and benefits of different choices. And in addition to those three skills, we also talk about boundaries and how we can set boundaries to make sure we're being treated with care and respect and then how we can be careful to respect and honor other people's boundaries as well. Now that's kind of stop and think in a nutshell. And we also have what's called safe place. This is our after abortion support group. There is no judgment at Dove Medical. This is something, this is a ministry that's offered to anyone in our community. While all of our other services are patient specific, this one is for anyone in the community, including those in the church who may have had an abortion in the past. And on Sanctity of Human Life Sunday, we celebrate the sanctity of the lives who are with us, as well as mourning the loss of those who were never born. So safe place is a place to talk about one's experience and a place where they can kind of work through the effects of what they've gone through with the loss of a pregnancy. Now, many of you have probably heard of the abortion pill, which is um, very easy to access, especially here in Oregon, um, with the um, accessibility online and no doctor's exam required. Um, this is not something that we offer at Dove Medical. It's also not quite the same as Plan B. So this is a two pill process that um, is designed to terminate a pregnancy. And um, the first thing that somebody does when they when they decide they want to go through with this kind of an abortion is they take something called mifepristone, which inhibits progesterone that kind of starves the baby of oxygen. And then 24 to 48 hours later, they take what's called misoprostol, which um, causes that baby to come out. Um, now, the good news when it comes to the abortion pill is that there is a way to reverse it. And that is something that we offer at Dove Medical. Abortion pill reversal or abortion pill rescue is where we treat somebody who's taken that first abortion pill with a, a significant amount of progesterone, which um, kind of helps oxygen come back to that baby. And um, if we are able to, to introduce this progesterone back into their, um, into their bodies within a certain amount of time before they take that second pill, um, it has a 67% success rate 
and uh, they are treated with that progesterone for the course of that first trimester. This is very natural and safe because it's what the body would naturally be doing um, to take care of that baby. Uh, now, Dove Medical is only one is one of only two clinics in Oregon that offers this service. I believe the other one is in the Portland area. So. We also have been successful. We've had two patients call and ask for our APR services, and um, they have both, one has given birth, and I believe one is expecting to um, give birth in the near future. So that's really exciting. Since Roe v. Wade has um, been reversed, Oregon has become what is known as an abortion destination state. So the fact that we're able to do abortion pill reversal in our clinic is very exciting. Now, if you are interested in, that's kind of a nutshell of what we, um, what we offer as our services at Dove Medical. If you're interested in more information, dovefriends.org is our donor website. This is where you can donate or give online. You can find out about events and fundraisers that we have. You can find um, our patient website at dovemedical.org or you can find more about our Stop and Think program at stopthink.net, and all of that information is at the table when you walk out today. Um, we also have volunteer opportunities at Dove Medical, and um, one great way to get involved um, is we, specifically for Riviera Baptist, we are looking for a link. This is a liaison between Dove Medical and your church, it keeps us connected with your pastor and your, um, the people in your church. Um, so that is one thing that we are looking for. And there are multiple other opportunities to serve and to volunteer. And for more information on those, I would encourage you to take a tour, come on in and uh, meet some of our staff and see what our clinic is like and just the different things that we do there. And um, those tours are on the second Tuesday of every month. So uh, come on in, give us a phone call, and let us know that you would like to take a tour and learn more about Dove Medical. And um, if you have any questions, please come see me at the table after service. Um, thank you guys again so much for having us here today. This is um, really a great blessing to our ministry and um, just a fun opportunity for us. So uh, we really appreciate your prayers and support. Now, um, before I leave, I'm just gonna pray for the service today. So if you'll bow your heads. Lord, we thank you so much for who you are. Um, thank you for this opportunity to come and um, just be a part of this church for the day. And uh, thank you for this opportunity to share about um, just one of the many ministries that you have in this area and all around. Lord, we pray that as you, uh, as the service goes on, we pray that you, your presence is just here and that you, um, are honored and glorified by our praise and our worship and just by everything that goes on today. We love you and we thank you for being with us. In Jesus' name, amen.